Hey kiddos, for today's activity, we're gonna do a painting of mountains with a few chalets and a skier. So for this tutorial, we're gonna need different colors of paint, or you know, maybe you have a palette at home. You'll also need a separate little palette where you can put each of the paints inside to mix them as well. We'll also need a glass of water to rinse the paints off of our paintbrushes, a few different sizes of paintbrushes, and two sheets of paper, one to do our drawing and one to protect our table. So more precisely, we're gonna need a few different colors of paint. So I'm gonna start with white for my mountain. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of blue for my ski trail. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of red for the details of my chalet. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of black for some of my other details. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of green to make my skier, some yellow, and a little bit of brown for the trees. Perfect, once I have all my paints, I'm gonna also get a glass of water to rinse my paint brushes. So you can just wiggle them around to get the paint off. A few different sizes of paint brushes big or small, whatever you have. I'm gonna use two different sizes and also a third one for the really fine details. I'm also gonna have one piece of paper for my painting and one larger one to protect my table. Great, so now I'm gonna start with a little bit of my white paint and my paintbrush to start with kind of the outline of the mountains, which I'm gonna have going right across here from left to right. And then above, I'm gonna have my sky. So let's start with one of our bigger brushes and grab a little bit of our white paint here and just start kind of drawing the outlines of what our mountains are gonna look like. So I'm just starting it right here down the side. That's our slope, sloping right down. Perfect, so it's not perfectly straight. You know, slopes are usually a little bit bumpier in some spots and a little finer in the others. Grabbing a little bit of water and some blue. And here I'm gonna do kind of blue and white mixed together, which is kind of gonna help us, you know, have the white be brought out a little bit because white paint on, on white paper isn't gonna show up that, that well. So a little bit of really, really light blue. So mostly white and just a pinch of blue. And this is gonna help us kind of outline the slopes and our mountains. Here, my first mountain. My second mountain's gonna be a little bigger. Then my third mountain. Perfect. And then, you know, it can be really kind of rough. I'm just using the touch of blue here to help me define our slope. So I'm just brushing back and forth. So we start to see the outline of our landscape. A little bit more white, which I'm gonna kind of just mix it in so it doesn't look super, super blue. Because snow isn't really blue. We just need a hint of color so, so we see where the snow is. Perfect, so just kind of, you know, put your brush back and forth wherever the snow will be, specifically around the edges so we can define it. A Little more water and then paint your mountains just within the triangles that we defined before. Perfect. Keep going on each one of your mountains and don't completely cover your blue with white. We still need to see a little bit of the outline of the mountain. Perfect. I don't know if you've skied before, but this slope looks pretty steep. Looks like a pretty, pretty tough mountain. Perfect, so now everything is nice and painted in, so our mountains and the slope, but now we're gonna paint in the background to have a nice bright blue sky, so our mountains are gonna pop out. So to do that, I'm just gonna kind of clean my paintbrush here, dab it in some water, grab some of this big bright blue, really nice and bright, and paint in the background. So I just need to make sure that we're painting around our mountains in the white spaces between each mountain. So nice and slowly take your time and use your fingers to guide you. Perfect, down 
and around. Awesome. A little more water, not too much, just enough to get the paint to be manageable. So we're gonna do this really big bright blue sky. There's actually a term in, in ski language called bluebird. When it's bluebird, it means the snow is perfect and the sky is bright, bright blue. So this is kind of like a bluebird landscape. So I'm just doing kind of a little V, like a triangle between my mountains to make it easier to paint between. Use your paintbrush. Then down between the two mountains with my blue nice and slowly. We don't wanna to get too much blue paint on our white mountains. Awesome. Perfect, so our sky is almost done. Now I'm gonna take that paintbrush, put it aside, and I'm gonna take a new paintbrush, or you could rinse your existing one, and we're gonna start drawing our chalets. So this one's a little bit skinnier. It'll make it easier to do the fine details. A little bit of water, and I'm gonna take brown paint. So most chalets are brown because they're made of wood. So you could do a light brown, a dark brown, but I'm gonna put my first chalet right here on the lower part of the mountain. So I'm just gonna start off with kind of a squarish rectangle here, just like a little box. So it's like a little wooden hut for the moment. And then two little spikes. So the spikes are actually gonna hold the chalet up above the snow because sometimes there's huge avalanches and the chalets need to be a little bit over and above the snow. Then I'm gonna do a triangle right on top of the chalet, which is the roof. So again, I'm using brown because it's most likely made of wood. And here I'm just filling it in. Perfect. So especially with the skinnier brush, it's easier to make the little details. Awesome. So now I'm gonna color in my chalet Make sure all of the details are nice and precise with my little chimney. So this chimney is a little bit smaller and most chalets definitely have chimneys just because it's so cold that, you know, after a long day of ski, you kind of want to snuggle up next to your fireplace. So now I'm going to take some green, put in a little water and my chalet here is going to be kind of like a bright green wintry color kind of like Christmas green. And paint it all within the inside here. Most chalets also have like these bright details. So when their skiers coming down, they can recognize them. Oh, must not ski over there. Perfect, so our chalet is nice and painted. Our little chimney. Make sure the edges are nice and straight. Looks good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my brown paintbrush right here, a little more water, and take a little bit, actually let's make this chalet red. I'm gonna make him red so he's nice and bright. And I'm gonna do a second chalet which is higher up the mountain up near that first mountain on the left, on the right rather. So I'm just gonna color in my chalet. Nice and bright. So I have green for my Christmas and then red for my other Christmas color. Then make it up, a little square, all filled in. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm gonna take my brown paintbrush and I'm gonna make the roof and the little stilts so the chalet is in the snow. So I'm actually gonna make a slightly larger fireplace for this chalet because since it's higher up in the mountain, it's probably a little bit cooler and the people that live inside are gonna need more firewood and they just need a warmer fireplace. A little more red here. And draw my chimney. Perfect. 
Perfect. So now everyone will be nice and warm inside of that house. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is between our two chalets, we're gonna draw like a ski trail. So I'm gonna take one of my paintbrushes, drop it in a little touch of water, and take a little bit of the light blue. Slightly darker than the mountain, not as bright as the, as the sky, and it's gonna kind of curve right between the two houses. So I'm gonna start it right there under the first mountain and draw it inwards and snake it down, just like that. Take a little bit more and keep snaking it down right there and follow your trail. Make it a little bit wider. Perfect. So now we have a trail that's starting to, to grow. Yeah, a little bit wider. Perfect. Awesome, you could also make the trail like a little bit skinnier towards the mountain so it looks like it's kind of coming in towards you. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of black paint with my teeny tiny little brush. And I'm gonna make flags, like little triangular little, whoop, little dashes, just like that actually. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna indicate to the skier that this is where the ski trail is. And there's also different colors for different trails. So right now this is a black flag, which means that it's probably one of the hardest ski trails because it's a, it's a black trail. There's also blue trails for kind of your medium skiers. There's red trails for the easier skiers and green trails. So here we have a really intense black trail. So I'm gonna take a little orange here and I'm gonna make my skier right on the little ski trail. Perfect, so there's his head. I'm gonna give him a little green body here giving him a little orange face because you can actually get a really great suntan on the on the ski mountain. You're so high up, you've got the sun, it's kind of in full blaze right by you. So you can actually get a bigger tan at the mountain than even at the beach. Okay, a little red for the two skis. Perfect. He's probably a really good skier since he's on my black mountain. little poles and his little poles right there. Perfect. His little boots as well, which I'm making brown. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little windows on the chalet, which I'm going to do with some white paint. So I'm just going to take this paintbrush and clean it up, dry it off. So let's do our first window here. So I'm just dabbing into my white paint. Oh, just making sure I don't have too much and do a little square right there with a little X in the middle. More like a little cross actually. So tiny little square on either side and a little cross. Perfect. And then right underneath here, we can do a little door. Perfect. So then for our second chalet, we can do the same thing, just take a little bit of our white paint and add some windows. I mean, you definitely want windows in a chalet like this so you can have an amazing view of the mountain. Perfect. So the last thing we want to do is since we have this big, beautiful blue sky, we should add a sun to it. So I'm just taking some yellow paint here and on the upper left-hand side, I'm just adding a big yellow circle. That's where our skier got his tan from. Nice big yellow circle with some rays beaming down. We're so high up in the mountains that we're really close to the sun actually. Great job you guys. And if you want, you can also sign your painting on the lower right hand side.
So kiddos, here's our mountain painting. I hope you had an awesome time making it. I'd also love to see what your mountain and skier look like, so please send them into tutokid.com with the help of your parents. Hope to see you soon!